should you just wait for the RTX 4000 series at this point? Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by Morning Brew, a free daily newsletter that gets sent to you Monday through Sunday. You know, personally in the past, I've had a hard time keeping up with the news, and I would usually start off my mornings by wasting my time scrolling through Twitter. But now that I've found Morning Brew, I start out each day getting personalized news sent right to my phone, keeping me up to date with the most important topics. And speaking of important topics, one thing I learned by reading an article on chip shortages is that not only are GPUs and CPUs facing supply issues, but even car manufacturers such as GM and Ford are also having trouble getting enough chips. Honestly, there's really no reason not to subscribe to Morning Brew if you're interested in business, finance, or tech, especially since it's completely free and takes less than 15 seconds to subscribe. So if you're interested in a great free newsletter, be sure to click the link in the description below to find out more. All right, so it's been about six months since the release of the RTX 3080, and specifically looking at that card, it's still incredibly difficult to get your hands on. In fact, it's still really difficult to get your hands on any RTX 30 series or RX 6000 series GPU. And, you know, I've been seeing more and more comments of, of people saying, you know, hey, I'm going to wait for the RTX 4000 series at this point, and I'm going to give up trying to get an RTX 3080. However, you know, should you really actually be doing that, or should you still continue to try and buy some sort of RTX 30 series card? And, you know, to answer that question, we're going to have to first take a look at the potential specs, performance, as well as release date for the upcoming RTX 4080. And that's going to kind of give us an idea on whether or not you should actually just give up and start waiting for the RTX 4000 series cards, or if you should still continue continue to try and get an overpriced RTX 30 series card. So first taking a look at the specs of the RTX 4080, you know, we don't really have the RTX 4080 specs specifically. However, we do have some specs of what appears to be an upcoming RTX 4000 series GPU. Now to me, this looks like either a Titan class product, a 4080 Ti potentially, or may not even actually be a GeForce GPU. It may actually be a workstation class type of GPU as it does have a lot of CUDA cores. In fact, if we take a look at the rumors coming out of videocards.com as well as Comp87 Kimi of what I'm going to be calling the RTX 4080 Ti. What we're looking at here is actually 18,432 CUDA cores on this GPU, which is actually over 70% more than what you can find on the RTX 3090. So yes, this is going to be an absolutely mammoth GPU, and this is definitely going to be much, much faster than the current RTX 3090, which is an absolute power hog, but it is very, very high performance. In fact, the RTX 3090 is kind of the perfect pairing for a 4K display, especially if you're running 4K at a very high frame rate. So the RTX 4090, or 4080 Ti is definitely going to be really, really fast, but just how much faster is it going to be than the RTX 3090? And that's something we don't know 100%. However, considering that it does have over 70% more shaders, or at least the GPU in question that we are looking at here has over 70% more shaders, I would expect it to be at least 50% faster because although the CUDA core count isn't going to scale with performance one-to-one, -one, I do believe it's going to scale fairly well this time because if you take a look at, say, the RTX 3090 versus the 2080 Ti, while it does have, I believe, over two times the amount of CUDA cores. Unfortunately, it only gets like uh, somewhere around 40% more performance. However, I do believe that the next generation of GPUs is going to scale a whole lot better because there's a lot of low hanging fruit on the current Ampere architecture that I do believe that, you know, if it was tweaked, they could get a lot more performance out of each CUDA core. So if that does come to pass, again, I am expecting at least about 50% more performance out of this next generation. At least we can take a look at this GPU versus the RTX 3090. So yes, this is definitely going to be a big performance jump over the RTX 3090 series and so if you do end up actually waiting for the RTX 40 series you're likely going to be seeing a massive improvement to your performance especially if you're coming from say an RTX 20 series card or even a GTX 10 series card such as the 1080 Ti because as you can imagine if you go from say a 1080 Ti to a say RTX 4080 you're going to see just an incredible improvement to your performance however to know whether or not it's actually worth waiting for that incredible performance leap we first have to know you know when is this GPU actually going to be launched and we do actually have some information on that front so recently during a GTX stream, NVIDIA did actually show a product roadmap, and on that roadmap, we can see that they do have the Ampere Next and Ampere Next Next GPUs, and I'm going to go ahead and focus in on the Ampere Next GPU, as that is likely going to be their next generation architecture. We can see here that, you know, the chart itself is very vague. However, if we do take a look at the Ampere architecture on this chart, and we compare it to, say, the Ampere Next architecture on this chart, we can see that, you know, uh, comparing the RTX 3080 release, which is where the Ampere architecture debuted, that actually released in September of 2020, and so then taking a look at the chart, we can kind of get 
guess that Nvidia is kind of aiming for a release date of a similar time in 2022, which means, you know, sometime around September of 2022 is when they're actually going to be targeting a release for the RTX 4080, or at least that's my best guess based on this very, very vague chart. Well, yeah, that's actually a really long time away. And so, of course, if you're going to have to be waiting till the end of 2022, that's a really, really long time. However, I do believe the RTX 4080 will actually get released before this. And the reason for that is because I do believe AMD is going to be trying to get their next generation GPUs out by mid 2022, which is definitely a lot closer. And the reason why I'm saying this is because recently in a Red Gaming Tech video, he did mention how the next generation RX 7000 series GPUs are likely going to be targeting a mid 2022 release, or I believe that's what he was kind of guessing when they were going to release. And if that does end up being the case, Nvidia is definitely going to want to beat AMD to the punch. They do like to actually do that. They like to get their cards out first as it does allow them to get a whole lot more sales over AMD and it allows them to kind of be, you know, first to market and look like they have the fastest. So Nvidia is definitely going to want to try and do that again. So if AMD is targeting a mid-2022 release, then you can guess that NVIDIA is likely going to target a mid-2022 release as well. And that definitely makes a lot of sense because, you know, typically there's about an 18-month cycle, or I believe about an 18-month cycle between new video card generations, or at least it has been that way for a little bit. And so, yeah, that would line up for about 18 months since the release of the RTX 3080. So it just, all of it makes a lot of sense. So yeah, that's about one year away from now, which is a long time. However, it's definitely not as long as say 18 months so yeah it looks like we're about at least a third into this current generation and who knows it could actually release even sooner than that we could actually be looking at an early 2022 release however i wouldn't get your hopes up we're probably looking at a mid 2022 release and again with it only being one year away should you wait and i think the answer to this question is it depends. So if you're someone sitting there with an RTX 2080 Ti and you have a lot of stuff to do and you just can't be sitting at home refreshing pages or watching bots all day, well, you've already got a very capable GPU. And if you're playing at a resolution such as 1440p at 144 hertz, well, then the 2080 Ti is definitely going to be good enough for you. And you really don't need to be buying an RTX 30 series card, especially if you're going to have to buy it for like $1,200 for an RTX 3080, or you end up spending like $1,800 for an RTX 3080. That's definitely not going to be a good deal for you. So if I were you, unless I saw a really, really good deal, I probably would actually continue to wait till at least prices come down. Uh, but honestly, if you did wait for the RTX 40 series, you would definitely see a really huge jump and that's probably not a bad idea. However, that being said, if you're someone who's sitting there with no video card or you have say like an RX 580 and you're playing at 1440p, 144 Hertz and that RX 580 is gonna give you a very compromised experience because you like to play say AAA games and you wanna max them out. Uh, well then yeah, maybe it's not a good idea to wait because a year, yeah, it's not a super long time away, but a year's still a pretty long time away, especially if you're talking about technology. So if I were you, I would try my best still to try and get some sort of RTX 30 series card or RX 6000 series card as long as you can get it near MSRP. And honestly, guys, if you keep a close watch on AMD.com, if you're someone who's been considering an NVIDIA card and you can't get it at MSRP, because uh, the only way you can get an MSRP and NVIDIA card right now is through Best Buy during one of their drops, which is getting incredibly difficult to get, as I do believe there's some exploits uh, that people are taking advantage of, so it's gotten a lot more difficult to get a Founders Edition card. If you've been considering NVIDIA, I would take a look at AMD.com because you may actually have a better chance there. Uh, it seems like they have some really good anti-bot protection there, so you do have a pretty decent chance of getting a GPU near its MSRP, which is a good deal. You can get like a 6700 XT for $480, which, you know, I'm not really happy about the $480, but considering that the RTX 3070 is selling for like nearly $800 to $1,000 now, that's definitely a better deal than getting an AIB RTX 3070, or you can take a look at the 6800 XT, which is $650 for MSRP over at AMD.com and again that's a much better deal than buying an AIB RTX 3080 for like 1000 or 1200 US dollars so keep an eye out on AMD.com if you are going to be looking for one and you know ultimately guys I would say that at this point it's probably not worth waiting for the RTX 40 series if you do have the itch to upgrade but again it really depends on your circumstances but hey that's just what I think are you going to continue to try and get an RTX 30 series card or at this point are you going to try and wait for the RTX 40 series let me know your thoughts in the comments below and of course I'll see you in the next video if you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA get more stock. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.